matte transitions. They look a little something like this. They're just black and white pre-rendered transitions, which you can then use on your timeline to do something a little like this. Now, they've been around for a long time, but in DaVinci Resolve of old, they used to be really fiddly to do. You used to have to hop into the color page and mess around with stuff in there. As of DaVinci Resolve 17, they're now far, far easier. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, all of these transitions I downloaded for free. There's a link down in the description below so you can go check them out for yourself or just Google around for free matte transitions. And there are a few places where you can download these for free for yourself. Right, let me open a new timeline and I'll show you how to get cracking. So I'm going to grab two pieces of footage, just put it on my timeline like so. And it's this edit point here where we want to have our matte transition. So this is the way I like to do it. Grab your first bit of footage, so this on the left here, and drag it up onto video track number three. So you need to have your first bit of footage on three, we're gonna put our transition on two, and then our second piece of footage is on video track number one. Then I'm gonna grab a matte transition, so I'm gonna choose this triangle one, and I'm gonna put this, line it up with the end of your first clip, like so. We then just need to grab our bit of footage and bring it back underneath. You need to have all three stacked on top of each other, like so. Now what I like to do here, just to make sure that everything is nice and tidy, I'll come to this first, bit of footage on our track number three. I'll put my playhead just before the matte transition, do a control and B to cut, and then I'll bring this back down. That just helps to keep your timeline a little bit tidier. You're not just constantly having to make new tracks and mess around, it just makes life a little bit easier. Then we're gonna click on this footage here on track number three, make sure it's highlighted in red, open up the inspector, make sure you're on the video tab, come down to composite, Click that if you don't see the options under there, and then you've got composite mode. Click on the drop down, scroll all the way down, and you wanna make this the foreground. Then we're gonna click on our matte transition, open up the inspector once again, same place, video, composite, scroll all the way down, and then you need to select either LUM, which is for luminance, or inverted. So I'm gonna click on LUM for now, and if we hit play, we can see it's working, but it's the wrong way around. So we just need to change that to inverted and then we'll hit play and that's much better. That's looking the right way around. Depending on how the transition was made, so you can see we've got black and white, whether it's black and white or white and black, will depend on whether you need to select the luminance or the inverted luminance. If you need to do any more, you just do the exact same thing and it's as easy as that. 